His friends, his teammates, fans all call him sweetness, but there is no sugarcoating the fact that Peyton is now facing the challenge of his life. To the, to the people that really care about me, just continue to pray. And for those who are going to say what they want to say, May God be with you also. It will be our pleasure to report on his sweetness, the premier running back in the National Football League, the all-time rusher, Walter Payton of the Chicago Bears. He's the first man over 1,000 yards this season. He's in for the touchdown. This football is a game of angles and uh, seconds. And if you can change the angles, then you got the edge. Walter Payton. That's touchdown number 102 of a sensational career. Walter was relentless. Before he's through, he'll own all the rushing records. Chicago's two biggest sports icons are Michael Jordan and Walter Payton. I mean, it was a guy that was, he was just determined to be the best. And they give it to Walter, Turtles! I felt that uh, I had an ability to get from God and I wanted to explore it. It was given to me for a reason. I didn't know who he was. And I saw him make this one run. Here comes Walter Payton. I block off everything. My teammates and the people around me, where I'm playing, the weather, pain, and it's it's you and me. Boy, that Payton's exciting. He's fun to watch. That was it. I didn't have to say any more. I knew this was a great run. Second and five from the 25. He wasn't big by football standards. Five foot ten, 202 pounds. I was a runner that wouldn't die easy. Make everything hang out! Everybody! Walter Payton, one of those guys that had style and self. So Walter Payton, who in 13 years missed only one game. 13 years in the National Football League and misses one game. He was one of the roughest, toughest competitors who ever lived. He was the best blocking back. Payton blocks out Lawrence. I can say that unequivocally that I've ever seen. What a great throw from McMahon. But sweetness was a little something special. He was good at what he did. All those moves and the strength and the tenacity was all a product of what uh, his physical conditioning was, his mental condition. Walter Payton and his room running up that hill. Man, that was nothing like that as a kid. He was a true warrior. Give me the heart of Walter Payton. There's never been a greater heart. And I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> what kind of animal is this? What kind of guy is this? It has to be exciting to have a man like Peyton in your backfield. One of the greatest men to ever play the game. Soldier Field, Chicago. Walter Peyton was on the brink of making NFL history. Every once in a while, my son asks me what game am I going to break it in. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what do you tell him? I tell him wait till the press conference on Wednesday. <laughs> Walter needs two to tie, three to break. Jim Brown's all-time, lifetime National Football League rushing record in total yardage. If you want to be the best player in NFL history, and breaking Jim Brown's record, that was a standard. That record, beating Jim Brown's record, meant everything to him. Second play of the second half of the 21-yard line. Walter needs two to break the record. Pitch to Walter, looking for the record, cuts back, he's got it, he's out of it at 25 to the 26 yard line, Walter Payton becomes the National Football League all-time leading rusher, surpassing Jim Brown on his second carry here in the second half, and that's the equivalent to Hank Aaron breaking Babe Ruth's all-time home run record, and listen to the standing ovation. He did it in a way that was so classy and respectable. Double wing formation to get the Peyton right through a big hole. The you know, if one position has defined the Chicago Bears offense over the years, it's running back. Set a second NFL career rushing record today. First he surpasses Jim Brown in total yardage, and now he goes over the 100-yard mark for the 59th time in his career. You could have been anything you want, really. True. Well, you know, that's that's true in anybody. It, uh, it's just a matter of uh, the frame of mind that you're in, and if you can visualize what you want to do, you can do it. He's the most complete football player in the history of the game. The law of physics tells you that an object standing still, another object coming, the one that's standing still is going to take the brunt of the blow. In a class by himself, 
thing I love most about football, I enjoy the contact. And that's the way he likes it. He'll find somebody to run into. I said, I'm going to stand and watch him, but I want to see him really love the football. It's the one who goes the fastest or the one who's uh, better conditioned is going to uh, going to inflict the most pain. And I saw him knock out one of our defensive backs. They brought him to the sidelines, <laughs> and he didn't know his name. He's on his way for a touchdown! blockers. And he has a touchdown! The Chicago Bears are world champions of football! For 13 seasons, from 1975 to 1987, Walter Payton was an MVP, Super Bowl champion, and nine-time Pro Bowler. Not only is my dad an exceptional athlete, he's a role model. He's my biggest role model and best friend. We made a wager who would be the first one to break down in tears. And after hearing my son get up here and talk, I don't care if I lose the bet. Walter Payton, the most prolific running back in the history of the National Football League, died today at his suburban Chicago home after succumbing to a rare liver disease. Walter, you know, he had moves, but he could run you over also. Well, that end zone is Payton's place, and he has his seventh touchdown this year. Walter Payton was the epitome of greatness, and he was a great warrior. I can't believe anybody in their right mind, and then again, they would have to be out of their mind to put Walter Payton anywhere but number one. One of the greatest men to ever play the game. He did it in a way that was so classy and respectable. The greatest running back of all time. My gosh.